the baby Tigers were confident after coming off the back of two straight wins, but facing a refreshed Dockers side was looming as their toughest task yet. Richmond were fast out of the blocks with the opening goal, but the Dockers were quick to reply. Ibbotson pulls the trigger, it's a wobbling ball. Does it get the carry? No, good defensive pre I think that might be over, in fact. Chris Main squandered two straight shots at goal and it seemed the inaccuracy was spreading. Well, that's the other thing that happens is when you start to miss, it becomes contagious. Fremantle with all the opportunities until Basher Hawley found his first at Punt Road. Big, long ball, deep, got the carry, what a goal! Tyrone Vickery inflicted salt into the visitors' wounds. Vickery head over the ball. That's how it's done. Until the reliable Kepler Bradley responded by levelling the scores at the first break. Fremantle's new Lee Brown put it down. Easy as that 12 3 for the year. Fremantle capitalised on a turnover from Dustin Martin to produce one of the goals of the year. I'll reload again from half forward. Fremantle. Hill involved again. Slick handball from De Boer. Can have a running shot on goal if you don't mind. <laughs> But the Tigers knew how to learn from their mistakes. The black and yellow proving they could play with the big boys. Measure the kick, get the shit, doesn't matter. Goal of the afternoon. Matthew Pavlich produced some brilliance just when the Dockers needed it most, as it continued to be goal for goal at the MCG. And he made the umpire work hard, but he's kicked the goal. Richmond were determined to break the trend and did so with the next three majors. Jake King on the end of two of them. The step in, the kick out. Oh, can you believe it? The Tigers holding a game high 14 point lead, but the Dockers refused to go away. He puts it on his boot, and I think he might have worked it back. The Purple Army kicking the last three goals of the quarter to lead by two points at half time. Richmond started the third quarter how they started the first, but this time they backed it up. Cotchen worked hard through the corridor. A good player will cap it off from 45 metres. It's working back. Richmond have got two. It seemed all of Fremantle's answers were coming from Kepler Bradley as he found his third of the match. Nick Lower doing his bit to give the Dockers back their lead. He's allowed to go on to Lidio. Slight hesitation went high on Lower. He's done it before and he does it again. It took experience to get the Tigers back on track and Brad Miller provided it. Excellent kick. Beautiful execution. The support of the home crowd cheering them over the line. They will go absolutely up and they have every reason. What a goal. Kepler Bradley found his fourth just as Hayden Ballantyne called it a night. I think boys have brought him out. He's saying he's good to go, but I think the hierarchy said no. The man who had been quiet all evening finally made an impact on the game. Dustin Martin, you little beauty. And as the match got physical, Richmond began to dictate the play. Listen to the roar. Angus Graham gifted the Tigers two in a row. Tyrone Vickery stretching the lead to 20 points at the last change. What a game of football! Chris Main squandered an opportunity to get the Dockers back into the match, but Richmond seemed as if they could do no wrong. Edwards, the releasing handball. Cotchen, can he stand and deliver? You better believe it. Damien Hardwick watching on with pride as Cochin kicked two in a row, making it four for the night. Tatted Cochin needs to think his way through and he does. And the Tigers weren't finished there. Nahas finding his fourth courtesy of unselfish play by Jake King. One more for the showreel. Over his partner in crime and Robin nails it. <laughs> Richmond out for the kill with nine of the last ten goals of the match to record a 47-point win. Lisa Broham, Big Pond Sport.